Hello friends, it's Susanna, and today I want to show you how to solve this problem. A rectangle is inscribed in a quarter circle as shown in the figure below. Can you determine the lengths of x and y? This is our quarter circle. We have the center of our quarter circle here, and in this quarter circle we have this gray rectangle in here. We get the length of one of the sides of the rectangle by 12 meters and also the length of the other side by 16 meters. And we have to find the length of x, this part here, and the length of y, this part here. x and y are part of the radius of our quarter circle, right? So this from the center to the edge of the circle, this is my radius. And if I knew the radius, then I can find the length of y as well. And the same here, this is my radius as well. And if I knew the radius, I can find the length of x as well. So let's try and find the radius of our quarter circle. We have the radius everywhere here, always from the center to the edge of my circle, this is the radius. Or from the center to this point here, this is my radius. But we have one special point here where my rectangle touches my circle. And these points are usually very helpful and important to solve problems like this. So I want to draw the radius from the center of my circle to this special point here, and I want to work with this. Why? Because now we have created a triangle here. Can you see this? And this is not any triangle, it is a right triangle, because this gray thing here is a rectangle. And from this right triangle, we know the length of this side, it's given by 12 meters, and we also know the length of this side here, because it is this side as well, uh, which is 16 meters. And with this information, we can find the length of the radius. Let's take a look at the triangle on this page here. This is what we have, and we want to find the radius. Because we're working with a right triangle, we can use the Pythagorean theorem to find the length of r. To use the Pythagorean theorem, we have to find the hypotenuse first. That is always the side that lies across the right angle, so r is our hypotenuse. And the Pythagorean theorem then says, take the length of one of the other sides, so the 16, and square it plus, take the length of the other side you haven't used that yet, the 12 and square it, and then you always get the hypotenuse squared, so your r squared. And we want to solve this equation for r. We have 16 squared here, which equals 256. We add 12 squared, which equals 144. On the other side, we still have our r squared. If we add these numbers, we get a result of 400, and on the other side, r squared. And if we want to solve for r, we have to get rid of the squared now. We can do that by taking the square root on both sides of the equation. We just have to keep in mind that we get two solutions then, a positive one and a negative one. But on this side of the equation, the square root helps to get rid of the square here, so only my r is left. And on the other side, I get two solutions now, a positive one and a negative one. The square root of 400, I can calculate that, that is uh, 20, so I get two solutions for my r. A first solution, I call it r1, which equals plus 20, so the positive solution here. And my negative solution, my second solution for my radius, is going to be negative 20. But I'm not interested in a negative radius in reality, so I don't use this solution. I just take the 20 for my radius, and we go back 
to our problem. We wanted to find out the length of x and y. And we just found the radius. So we know from the center to the edge, this part here, so this part here, is of length 20. So then I also know how long my y is. If this part here is 12 meters, then my y has to be 8 meters so that I get 20 in total. So my y equals 8. If I want to use the units, I can call it 8 meters then. And the same for my y, um, for my x. I know that this whole thing, my radius, is of length 20. So if this is 16, then my x has to equal 4 meters. And this is a way how to solve this problem. I'm curious how you did it, so please let me know in the comments. I wish you a wonderful day, and I hope to see you in one of my next videos. Take care!